Hello, it is Friday. It's a gorgeous day, beautiful, a lot of energy moving around, lots of movement. Happy 11 11 22. The twin flame portal is opening. This is a Taurus vibe check. Taurus vibe check. Taurus vibe check. One more. Yes. Taurus vibe check. Thank you. Here we go. Taurus vibe check. Come through. Communication. Taurus. Absolutely, and thank you. Uh, no longer up in your mind with worries. Getting out of that bad habit of looking for shoulda, woulda, couldas. We have nine of cups, wish fulfillment. How lovely. We have ace of cups. This is a recognition that this is a divine connection. Judgment, this love is ascending. Yeah, tower moment did occur way over here in the past. It's like um, 10 o'clock. Lover's card, Gemini, thank you. Will not be moved. I am not getting an, a second option. I'm not getting a second opinion. This is the way it is. I am. I have my one and only right here. We have three of pentacles, getting teamwork, help, getting help on the other side of the veil. I do feel it's a motherly presence. The three of swords in reverse helps us understand the energy in our cards right here. A recognition that this has not been an easy connection, but again, the most difficult roads to travel on lead to beautiful destinations. Let's begin with some clarification here. If you saw the other Taurus reading earlier, then you will see how much communication is a theme that continues today. 11-11. Clarification, please. For this Taurus vibe check. Thank you. So let's clarify this communication, this Eight of Wands. Was it a Six of Wands? Eight of Wands it is communication. We're going to celebrate finally. Finally, you've said something and you said it directly, not through a wink and a nod or an emoji. Your communication is coming through. And why? Because you're very nervous. Someone, no, I'm speaking to you. Um, the, the, I'm speaking to your connection. Your connection is very concerned that um, you're not going to wait around. They, they did ask you to be in the Nine of Wands pose for, for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And they're worried that someone has swept you off your feet. They see you as extremely attractive, charming, and funny. <laughs> Fun to be with and, and uh, very charming. And they're worried that someone... They've got a little jealousy here, a little jealous streak. They do um, make sure that you're not with someone else. They might send you a little gift or something just to see. Are you still hopeful and they're very concerned. Let me just say concerned. They're very concerned that you are not going to wait for them. They have spent a lot of time in repose, in Four of Swords energy, um, contemplating how they are coming across, contemplating their words to themselves um, when they're um, talking themselves down, um, they're being, being negative. Um, they're getting out of that habit, and you know why? Because they see you and your dignity. They see you as the Empress, and they want to emulate that. Yeah, this is the fear. I, they're they're up in their heads at night. They're kind of worried that you might be um, going off with someone else. 
Ace of Wands is here from the universe, offering inspiration, just that little extra hold on, just that extra I'm here. And of course the Hierophant, beautiful facial features. They see you as, as someone that other people listen to, that other people gravitate towards. Absolutely. So there you are in your own reading. We have the Nine of Cups. They, you are their wish fulfillment. Page of Cups in reverse. They did try to make some kind of um, statement, um, proposal, some kind of um, communicative action towards you, but it did not happen. It fell through what was the communication they want to give you the world. This is very similar to the reading we had earlier about Taurus. Uh, this is the fixed signs, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and this is 11-11. Um, this twin flame portal is opening up. And the Ace of Swords is here to provide even more truthfulness. Yeah, the, the problem is that this is such a, a um, I don't say problem, the challenge is that this is such a magical connection that sometimes it's, it's difficult to believe, is this true? Is this, I mean, I know on their end, it's it's like, and, and the other side of the connection, they're like, is this too good to be true? And I've heard you ask that question too, am I cray cray? Is, is this just up in my head? No, it's not. The universe has created this, the, all of the um, potential for this connection. It's just beautiful. Yeah, the, the loving cup overflows. Yeah, someone really, um, there's this little jealousy streak. They might, um, okay, this won't be for everyone. I'm just going to say what I see. Someone might have created some false um, social media. Not everyone has social media, but um, a false identity or asked someone a question about you. Um, in a roundabout way. So if they have a false, um, what do they call it? A fake account, then they could um, kind of keep track of on you, um, maybe flirt with you a little bit to see how you would respond to that. It's interesting. Again, generalization, it's not for everyone, but I do see someone kind of acting a certain way just to see how you would react. Yeah, they really, I see someone coming forward and, and wanting to give you something just to make sure you're still available. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles, it's so beautiful. You know, everything that has been worked towards is now coming to fruition. It's, it's blooming, it's blossoming. And it, it's, it's a point of, of looking at all of this work and saying it was worth it. It's now coming to fruition. This um, judgment card, you see they're ascending out of the their tombs. This is the love ascension. Yeah, the ten of, I say ten of hearts, ten of cups, here to provide everything that this connection is going to need to. Oh, I see that you guys are like a super couple. Super couple. It's great energy. Yeah, I, I do see someone... Um, just acting out a little bit here and there, nothing malicious. Just when you are feeling um, left out and a little insecure, someone might just act out a little bit. Nothing, nothing huge. Actually, it's, it's, if I could say it's, it's kind of endearing. It's endearing because they care. Yeah. Uh, Four of Cups in reverse. They, they have looked around they have made sure that um they are not um they're not interested in anyone else they're sitting with their hands crossed i'm not interested i'm i'm waiting for it to come to fruition yeah the tower in reverse this is wonderful everything that is around that is not useful and good for their energy they just want to get rid of um and including people people who are um what do they call them energy vampires people who bring negativity or people who have like a they always want the last word and it's usually negative you know it's it's time to kind of um gently push them out of the screen out of the screen okay uh, they see you as the nine of pentacles this is also the card of increase so 
as the intention to come forward and to solidify this connection is manifesting it is the card of increased energy yeah absolutely and the king of swords everything is not um just emotion there's also a lot of there's a great deal of logic to this the devil's in the detail and um someone has put forth a lot of energy to um what are you saying oh put your ducks they're they're putting their ducks in a row they're putting the ducks in a row okay um the tell that's this is this little it, the small little insecurities small little jealousies um again i find that it's not um scary or anything this capricorn energy it's endearing because if it shows how much they care it shows how much they care they just want to make sure that um that you're still in, interested because they absolutely see you as, as lovers mm. choking up <laughs> They absolutely see you as lovers and the beautiful queen of pentacles is here she really they want to make a home yeah they they no longer want to be defensive at all there's nothing to hide there are no secrets and with your wonderful intuition Taurus, by the way you understand already anything that might have not been said explicitly how beautiful temperance you guys are a super couple you respond well to each other's um need for energy so when they're down you you provide energy and when um you're down they provide energy so it's, it's a wonderful compliment and that's justice that's libra energy mm. All right. why do we need justice why do we need that that libra energy because so many things have seen out of order or um unclear unsure and that has been a great burden to to carry and the sun is going to come up <coughs> excuse me taurus 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 the sun is coming up this is leo energy as well very strong a lot to look forward to a great deal to look forward to and remember you're getting help on the from the other side yeah Someone, I think, either is looking for a new home or thinking of building, building a home. They want to make what has been in their head, they're created by their hopes and wishes. They want to bring it into reality. And the beautiful Queen of Wands. She's here to um, be quite direct with her feelings and emotions. <clears throat> Sorry. Happens with Taurus. <laughs> Framing this whole reading is the Three of Swords in reverse. It's been difficult. It's been hard. It's been lonesome. <clears throat> but now it's coming to the point where the sun's going to come out. Everything is going to come to fruition. It's a beautiful reading. And, and you're a beautiful person. You guys take good care. Okay, bye-bye.